Hello everybody and welcome back to the Band of Advisor Get Afterbirth Plus where we try to achieve 100%. In this episode, I'm actually going to be doing a challenge because it's been a little while. Why is there a continue run there? Oh, it's because we accidentally started new one, didn't we? Um, I'm going to do a challenge run here. Now, these are going to be slightly quicker episodes. If they're really, really short, I'll do two in one video. Like, if they're like 15 minutes or lower. Ooh, number one. Not bad. But this challenge is very easy. We don't, we can't see our health and we have cares of darkness for every single floor. That's about, that's about the lot of it. So all we need to do is keep a good eye on our HP and we're going to be fine. we will be absolutely fine. This really isn't a hard challenge at all. It's more of a, a moose bouche Just a little sort of teaser to warm you up to challenges. Ow. To warm you up to the challenges. As long as we can get deal with the devils, I honestly think we'll be absolutely fine. I think that's the main... That's the main, like, deal of doing well on these challenges. Because a lot of them, this one you do, but a lot of the challenges you don't get item rooms in. So, deal the devils away, you get your main lot lover card. I'm just going to use that there and get one of the hearts. Um, but yes, uh, deal the devils away, you get your main lot of damage. So, that's obviously going to be our priority on the next floor. Another thing about these challenges, especially this one, not all of them, but this one only goes to mum's foot, not mum's heart. So, it's going to be a much shorter run no matter what. I'm going to do that there. Got some soul hearts there. And there we go. We're basically 100% protected for our deal the devil there. Two soul hearts, which is four hits, apart from the champions, basically ensures a deal the devil. I wouldn't say it guarantees, but very, very nearly. Very, very nearly. I'm, I'm fairly confident, unless that happens. I don't actually know how much damage that guy does in one hit. Maybe we're only on one uh, soul heart now, but I'm fairly sure, fairly certain that we're going to be just fine for the next floor and hopefully this deal the devil steamrolls and and spirals out of control snowballs as it were into a into a great run that means we can go pretty quick here now i don't want to i don't want to speed through it too much i don't want to be going straight to the boss like this here even though we do have a pretty good run going with number one obviously short range but very increased fire rate so it's pretty good. I don't want to. I don't want to steamroll too much. I don't want to make the make each challenge as quick as I possibly can for no reason. Like, if if the video is over twenty minutes, then I'll I'll, I'll keep it as one video. But if it's like, well, if it's un, like I said, if it's under fifteen, I'll do another. But otherwise, I'll just stick to the one. So I don't want videos getting out of control really, really long. But then again, I don't want you guys getting. 15 minutes of content from me, from Isaac, especially you Isaac lovers out there. I know there's quite a few of you that tune in for Isaac uh, every single episode, and there's a few of you, oopsie, there's a few of you out there that only tune in for Isaac, I assume. That's going to be a much, much, much smaller percentage, but I am, I'm sure there's a few of you. Uh, so, I don't want to be denying you of your at least half an hour of content, hopefully. 20 minutes to half an hour minimum. Isaac content's always going to be very differing, especially in the challenge department. The ultra hard challenge is going to be a challenge that maybe take us a few weeks to do, whereas this one is going to be a one and done, very quick, don't worry about it, we'll be fine sort of, sort of challenge. There we go. That guy's dead. Another tinted rock there, get some more soul hearts. There we go. Love it when you get a soul heart and a bomb. That's just beautiful. And dead eye. Deadeye with a high fire rate is great. So what Deadeye does is every consecutive hit we get on an enemy increases our damage up to two times, I believe, until we miss a shot. But with high fire rate, it doesn't really matter if we miss a shot because the consecutive shots are so quick that the damage buildup is basically constant because we just keep ramping up and ramping up and ramping up and ramping up. So I don't actually know how our soul heart like situation is right now. So I want to be careful. Looks like we're going to be just fine here, considering the insane damage by Deadeye. There we go. And we got growth hormones. Speed is lovely. I love getting a bit of a speed upgrade. And then the damage upgrade is even better. The mark is awesome, considering we got a health upgrade on the first floor. That's even more speed and even more damage. And that has just spiraled us into a position where we can be very happy with where we are. And this, this not only improves our overall damage by default, it improves the amount that Deadeye increases our damage by making us even stronger. It's, again, snowballing. Really are snowballing. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. So, very good run going on here. And our character looks like an absolute weirdo. Looks kind of cute, though. Kind of cute. Weirdos can still be cute. It's a word to live by. If you're a weirdo, don't worry. You can still be cute. Got him. Ah ha ha. You gave me a chest instead of a spirit heart. But that gave me a spirit heart anyways. You thought he'd get past me. But no. Look at this. Oh, the only thing is the range. But, well, 
Damn it. P tier. Yeah, if you didn't realize, uh, number one means that you're peeing. <laughs> Even though it still comes out of your eyes. What have you been doing, Isaac? What has happened to you? He's a weird kid. His imagination is a bit wild. P tiers aren't anything, aren't anything too weird for him. Ah! Nice. Give me that battery. Oh, I can't take a battery. I don't have a spare for item. One of the only prerequisites to taking a battery. And I don't have it. We don't really need a space for item in this run, though. I think our tiers, even just as they are, are easily going to carry us to Mum's foot. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We can indeed do boss rush in this run as well. But we won't gain any rewards from it. Of course, I'll do this. Didn't get any rewards from it. But we could have got some guppy items or some something else. Like sin robes would have been really good. Not that we're likely to get guppy this run because we just don't have the time. We don't have enough of the run to go through in order to gain guppy, but it could happen. You never know. Oh, the damage is so beefy. Dead eye, you beast. I think you've got to miss two tiers before the damage up falls off. If we get a range upgrade, that'd, that'd really set this run into motion, make it even better. By the way, if you're wondering what a trinket does, it means we can get two simple secret rooms, two basic secret rooms on one floor. I often... Especially on challenges like this, tend not to even go for them anyway, so it's not that big of a help, really. Ow. You shit. It's not really that big of a help at all. Ah, my god. The midgy fella got me. I didn't expect him. We've still got soul hearts left, which is good. I think we've got one soul heart, maybe. Creep bombs. I really don't care about them. Mini mush is nice. It just gives us a bit more of a speed upgrade. It gives us a... What? What? Um... It gave us a range down, but increased our range. Maybe there's some sort of weird negative going on here, where it's like uh, it only goes up to a certain integer, and it's gone over and looped over into the plus rather than the negative. Divorce papers are not bad. Tears up, which doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. But we did get a boon heart out of that, which is what we filled up there. But yeah, that was kind of, kind of strange. I'm not exactly sure what happened with our range there. We lowered it so much that it increased. Because I, I know that that's how the... Um, that's how the nuclear Gandhi glitch uh, actually occurred in in Civilization, for those of you that... Oh my god, this is awful. <clears throat> I knew I was going to get hit there. Um, yeah, for those of you that know what that glitch is, basically, in Civilization, in, in the... I think it was either 2 or 1, it was one of the early games, Gandhi was obviously a very, very peaceful character. Uh, very, very peaceful. And didn't nuke anyone, and he started with, a, with an aggravation, like, levels of 0, anger rate of 0, so he never... He never, um got angry at people but but they made a fatal error in uh in the code and didn't actually cap the well didn't actually set any limits on on the aggravation level i don't know if the aggro level i can't remember what the name was but anyways they didn't set any limits on this level and so what happened is he was at zero you 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 do a, a specific option that lowers aggravation with him and it lowered, it lowered his aggravation, but to minus one. But because minus numbers didn't exist in that game, like they didn't, they weren't allowed. Instead, it it looped it over to the next, um, to the next closest number that it, that it was allowed in um, in the integer they were using, which was 256. Uh, I can't remember what what um, type of thing they were using in the uh, in the code for that to happen. But anyways, uh, the, so it looped over to 256, and he had the highest aggravation of any enemy by far in the entire game. And so went nuke crazy, and starts nuking everyone, and is really, really mean and hard to deal with. And it was, like, such a weird and funny bug that they decided to make it into a feature. So now in, like, all of their games, Gandhi is, like, a super aggressive, nuke-happy, like crazy man it's it's, it's a quite a funny bug and it's really cool that the devs decided to keep that in after a, a simple little error instead of just patching it out i think it was in the time though we didn't really patch out bugs i was actually talking about this at work with someone today about how like games were in simpler times before where you didn't get post game support like when your game was out if it launched with bugs it launched with bugs you, like there was no patching there was no content updates there was nothing and now nowadays if people don't get weekly content updates, they're like, what the hell's this game? Is it crap? <laughs> if they don't get DLC, they're like, um, excuse me? It just doesn't happen anymore. It's, it's just, just kind of time to change. Expectation levels are a lot higher. It's harder to please people.
It really is. Um, and honestly, I, I myself will, will agree that, that even I've fallen to that. Like, even the, back in the day, I'd, I'd pick up a game, I'd play it for however long, and I wouldn't need content updates or patches or any anything of that sort to keep me playing the game. I'd just play it for what it is. And there's still some games like that that I still play to this day. Uh, but nowadays, like, Apex Legends is a perfect example of that. I love, love, love that game. The gameplay is incredibly fun. They, they, they've they made a very, very polished Battle Royale game. One of the most polished that's out there, in fact. But, but, they didn't touch it for months. They, they released this pass. It was terrible. Um... And they didn't add any content for a very, very, very long time. Like, they, they just, at E3 recently, announced that they're adding a new character, Watson. But, like, I'm past it. I'm playing new games. I'm, I'm playing other things. You've lost me. Like, you had time to add content that you promised you'd add and never did. So, you, you've lost you've lost a player there. And I'll still go back to it every now and again, but it's not a game I'll play as regularly as I once did. And... That's, that's exactly, like I said, me kind of falling victim to that expect, expectation of content updates. Like, a game like PUBG was, you, you, even that game, you got monthly content updates. Not, admittedly not as regular as a game like Fortnite, but um, you still got regular content updates, at least fairly regular. And we got free um, new maps and all that sort of stuff. So, they kind of, especially the Battle Royale scene, had really set a standard for, for content updates and... The game just really didn't hold up to that. Uh, it, it, it was a shame because they, they really had their hand in the palm, their hand, the world in the palm of their hand. Like they, they were so, like ready to do so well, and they just didn't. It didn't go through with their the promises they made. They they even stated that during the first season pass there would be like a, two new characters and many different new guns and items, and none of that came to fruition. So I think it just it put people in a sour mood with the with the developers. Considering how much time and sometimes money people have put into the game, it really, uh, it really soured the whole, the whole atmosphere of the game and stopped a lot of people from playing it. It went from like, I think I got like a concurrent players of like three million or something. It was crazy. It was like getting to PUBG levels and uh, and it just all dropped off all of a sudden. And now I don't know what it's sitting at now. It'll still be fairly high, but especially with the new character coming out. But I imagine it won't be anything close to uh, what it could be today if that a. Uh, if they'd have really held out on their promises and and added the content that that was said they were going to add, it's a shame. It is a shame. Them pennies are flying. What the heck? It would be nice to see there uh, if they'd add a bit more. And I'd probably play it a little bit, a little bit more. But then again, there's like games like Hollow Knight and this, which have the hell's going on there, which have never really required that level of of focus. But then again, I feel like. If you play a game like PUBG, Fortnite, Apex Legends, any of the big battle royales, really, there's a, even though it's like it's like Call of Duty multiplayer or something like that, it is technically different every time. Considering you um you fight new people, you you fight in different places, you use different guns, it does get very samey. Whereas a game like this, even though the gameplay loop is very similar, the the runs can differ massively from run to run. Like like it's crazy how much they can differ. Sometimes a run will not be recognizable from another like you could you could sometimes without the uh, Without the actual game like the the background if you just looked at the character and the way they shot You wouldn't even think it was from the same game. It can be that different. So it's it really is It's the variety that these games add that that remove that requirement for constant care and updates and attention now obviously this game has had a lot of care and attention a lot of updates over the years um, with its booster packs and its few DLCs that it's had alongside them that really have added a little longevity but because Because of how much longevity the game already has they aren't needed quite as regularly and when they do add them They increase the longevity even more because they add even more synergies and even more builds and even more enemies and even more flaws even more bosses so the longevity becomes even longer, meaning you need the DLC even less, and the gap becomes bigger and bigger and bigger as more and more gets added. And with Repetence, which is the, the newest one coming out for this game, whenever that's coming, I really hope it's soon. Apparently it's going to be the end of the year, but who knows, it's Edmund, so we can't really we can't really hold him to that. But uh, we'll have to see. And that's really going to add just... It's going to make this game 
the, the final version, like Antibirth, for any of you that played it, was god tier. It is like, it is like an extension of this game. It's not a mod, I mean it is a mod, but it's, it's basically an extension of this game. It's his own thing. It was so well polished, so perfect, such a brilliantly executed game. Very fitting, very thematic, and very fun. And they're adding it fully to this uh, to, to this game, like with all of the content that's in it now properly, uh, like as an official release. And it's just going to add so much longevity to the game and so much replayability that I just can't wait for it. Like I said, it is going to be the final version, the the version of Isaac we've all been waiting for. Right, um, I'll check here first and see if there's anything that I really want, but no, there isn't. Uh, right, cool. We'll do another challenge. Um, I'll just do the next one down. Uh, challenges, highbrow. I think highbrow's fairly easy. This is, this is another one that only goes to mum's foot. We, we start with number one again. Okay, we start with number one and the flush. So flush is really good. The, the teddy bombs aren't that great for us, but the flush and number one are going to be great. As long as we can get a range upgrade, we're going to be in the same situation we were last time. Obviously, without dead eye, is doing quite as well. And I believe, I believe, because we start with items on this run, there is no treasure rooms. The deal with the devils hold a lot more importance. This is not good. This is not good. I need to get hit there. Um, Deal the Devils hold a lot more importance than they did in the previous run. Even though they did do a pretty good job for us, this time round, they're really going to make or break. And that right there, that right there has sorted us out in a very good way. This guy's going to drop a soul heart as well, which is awesome. But yeah, that sorted out great. Two soul hearts, like I said, all but guarantee a Deal the Devil on the next floor. Unless something goes majorly, majorly wrong or I get hit by a few champions or something along those lines. It, it really puts us in a situation where I feel much, much safer. Really? Can you not, dude? Damn. I was hoping that could hit him. Whoa. He does a monstrous lung attack. The, each each champion version of this guy does a different attack on his final phase, and I always forget which is which, so... I was really not expecting the monstrous attack there. Loving the Cuba Me and the extra soul heart, though. Again, another soul heart on top of that. Even further even further guarantees that guarantees that deal with the devil which hopefully hopefully can solidify a win for us because there's so many items in there that was kind of bullshit there's so many items in there that do so much for us we've got to remember as well that we also have petrified poop so whenever we flush we want to be destroying the poops just so we can get as much money or soul hearts as is possible because the shops are still an avenue for us to take. And we could still get some good stuff from there. Because there's still a few good items in there. We haven't unlocked quite all of them. And we haven't even, like, donated enough to the shop to make it great yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. The good thing is we don't have to look for our item room. So this run is going to be slightly faster than the last. If we get some good damage going. Obviously the damage from the last one is what carried us. And sped up the run to extreme levels. But hopefully we can get something along those lines. And there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Just the soul hearts. Okay, circle around him. Easy. P versus Poo. The eternal battle. There you go. Cuban meat does a good job. What trinket? I will take it because it's funny. Um, and there we go. Honestly, I will take both. Gives us three soul arts and that's just a, a baby to help us out. Cool. Go on to the next floor. I never really used demon babies. Uh, not demon babies, sorry. Demon beggars. But I should use them more often. I should have used the red hearts before I traded them away at least. But yeah, now we've got this weird, wacky thing going on. Do you know what? I'll take this just because it could contain an item. Unfortunately, just some money. But like I said, money can still be useful for us, so I don't mind it. I don't mind it. We are going to be missing less shots because of our weird, um, our weird... I was going to say charm that we have on then. It's not charms. This isn't Hollow Knight. Our weird uh, trinket that we have on. But you know what? It's a bit wacky. It's a bit weird. We might as well try and spruce this run up a little bit. Well, we got the chance. Come on, you. And honestly, Auto Baby, the Demon Baby, is going to be really good for us as well. As long as we're close to enemies, it does crazy damage. And there we go. Look at that. Got the key there and a bit more money. And bomb that guy because he can always drop a nickel. And he does. Nice one. Also, slightly increases our deal with the devil chance. Not to a crazy level, but a slight increase is nothing to turn on as a fat. I will take it, especially considering all it cost was one bomb. That's even better considering we have a quite a lot of bombs already, so I don't mind it. Whoa, this, this game lagged a bit then. Nice ass. Look at hit there. Right. This is a room that I'm going to use that on. What? It doesn't affect these guys if they're not got their head up. That is a that is news to me. Did not know that. So that was a waste. 
These guys have their head down. It doesn't affect them. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Do you know, we could have used that flush on the, uh, on the, on the dingle boss to flush him away. I forgot that it works on poops bosses like that. I completely forgot. There we go. Um, I might as well do that. We've got nine keys, so we can easily open it. Got another key from it, too. If we found our shop, that'd be great. And we just did pull out. Well, all y'all are dead. You just committed seppuku. Uh... Don't want any of them, to be honest. I'm liking our flush. I want to stick with the runs theme. That's another thing that I want to talk about, too, is if possible, whenever we do these challenge runs, if you have a theme where it gives us some items, I'll try not to take items that completely circumvent the challenge. Like, the, the certain ones, like, for example, there's uh, a tiny planet one that you can just get brimstone and it just ruins the challenge. So, if possible, I'll try not to, uh, I'll try not to ruin the challenges because, obviously, that's not as fun. I think this is the champion version that just spawns enemies. I do want to get rid of that, though. There you go. Ow. Poop him. Flush him down. Nice. The auto baby. Doing a really good job of keeping those guys at bay for us. And you add onion rings. Rage up. It's perfect. Krampus fight? Honestly, I don't mind a Krampus fight. Uh, I would definitely take a lump of coal. Ow. Definitely take a lump of coal. I got stuck in the wall there. Nice. Lump of coal. Just fine. I know we don't have high range, so the lump of coal isn't as useful as it would be otherwise, because it does increase your damage the longer the tier travels, but it's still a nice help. It still, it still is something that's worth having so I, I don't mind at all and let's get rid of get rid of these poops and I, honestly our range is not bad now though i'm pretty sure the um the trinket does increase our range as well let's actually check that i can't remember if it does so does it increase our range it does so technically we're getting a lot more because the, the tears are traveling far, further so it has to increase your range but technically we are getting a lot more out of lump of coal because of this trinket which is nice we, t we turned a trinket that's technically just a joke into an actual functional part of our run which is pretty cool didn't even think about that when i picked it up to be honest i just took it because it was wacky it was wacky and weird i like having it the extra range helps lump of coal and it helps me helps my soul Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep. Don't want to deal with that. I know I should be taking the, picking up the poops, really. And, uh, well, breaking the poops, should I say. But I can't be aced. Uh, we'll find some secret rooms, I guess. Thank you. Another good thing about the blue map a lot of people don't think about is the second secret room is almost always close to the boss fight. So you can actually use the second secret room on the map, as you can see, that, that darkened one, to find your way over to the um, actual boss fight. Sort of cheat your way around to the boss fight without having actual mapping, which is kind of cool. We'll go in our secret room and check as well. It's kind of cool. Nothing really. I'll wait for the bomb to blow that up just in case we get magic mush. We, instead, we've got to deal with the devil chance, which I'm also pretty happy with. Don't have our uh, lovely, lovely um, calm down flush, unfortunately. Can't do much about them. Calm down, you. Oh, I can't, I can't hit him. There you go. Thank God for the uh, the black heart. Health is a bit on the bad side. It's not it's not dire. We're, we're going to be fine. But it's still a little bit on the worst side of where I'd want it to be. Would be nice to get a few more soul hearts. Maybe a few tinted rocks to, to hold us over. Yep. Nice. My god, this guy's fast. The champion version of this guy's fast. Luckily, he's really weak, though. The box. Hey. Um, ancient recall. Might as well use because it just gives us three cards. Is that a Hierophon? Oh my god, that's exactly what I wanted. That's what I've always wanted. Any of you guys seen that? It's, uh, do you know what? Literally. Oh, wait, we got a, we got a crawl space. Yum heart. God damn it. I picked it up just for the ability to get down to the next floor quicker. Like pure pure and simple, just to just to get down to the next floor quicker. 
Don't know why, actually, because there's a door right there. It was complete waste in, in uh, retrospect. But we got a crawl space anyways. Kind of weird. Talks about helping too low. Takes one full red heart of uh, of health away. Simply to... Uh, actually, let's see this. Simply to <laughs> skip one room of, uh, of movement. Cool. Another Hierophant. That kind of alleviates the pain a little bit. Alleviates the, uh, the the pain of my mistakes. The game likes to reward me for being stupid. Like my god, Turtle. You've been a moron. You've been a giant idiot. Here, have a treat. Oh, I forgot. You bamboozled me for the last time, Skelly Bob. Give me that battery back. Keep getting bamboozled. And our speed's really low as compared to the last run in this one as well, so... Finding ourselves taking a little longer to do everything. I almost hit that bomb back into myself there. Nice. Oh, what? <laughs> that was kind of stupid of me. I really should have looked at that before I placed that first bomb. But luckily, the game likes me being stupid, so I'm glad I did it. Damn it. Die, heathen. Open your shell. The normal map there. We'd get that if we had one extra penny. One extra penny, anyone? Anyone? I'm not going back now. I can't be asked. There's an extra penny. That's a lot of keys, too. Stars. I don't even know what the stars does on um on this run. Does it just do nothing or does it teleport you to a random room? Because there is no item room. Isaac's fork, don't really care. We have been beasted by an square bullet. Or an square tier. Beasted and feasted upon. Go, go, go. Rusted key, don't care. Really don't need extra keys this run. These guys are annoying. Could use my uh, my flush on this room, but I'm saving it for the next room because it looks big. It looks like it could have a lot of annoying enemies. Die, heathen. My auto baby he can't even get you. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Glad I saved it. Makes that a lot easier for us. Hey, Monstro 2. How are you? Ooh, that was close. Deal the devil's much less likely here. Turn those into poopies. This is a little bit more breathing room and also just a little bit quicker for us. Less bullets on screen. Considering we have the hairpin as well, which basically makes it so that we get a item, or like a boss, sorry, a full item charge whenever we start a boss room, so it's basically a completely fair use, considering what else we're going to use it for. We can't kill the boss or deal any damage to him. I don't mind. A really cool trinket, this. It was added in one of the booster packs, actually. It was originally a mod. We can hold another trinket. My god. Oh no, that, that lets you hold more pills, doesn't it? Uh, I will take this. Thank you. Bit of extra speed, bit of extra damage. Got that in the last run as well. Something something similar is going on with these runs. Got a bit of a pattern going. Right, so let's go down. Right, you come on. Might as well go in here, check what's, check what's the his apps. Nothing, just a single penny. That heart does not look friendly. I would like to kill you. Them enemies are the worst. If you get what there's one room that has four of them in. And it's a room that has like like pits like that. Oh my god, is it the worst room I've ever seen? One of the worst rooms in, in the area floors, by far. Gotcha. The flush is nice. Battery there for the flush, sorry. But I don't want to use it yet. Shop is cool. I will take that because I don't think I've taken it yet and it's progression. I'm always looking for progression when I can get it. Might as well. My god, no combat anywhere. Game, you've made me go the wrong way for literally no reason. How could you do this to me? A complete betrayal. Got ya. Ooh, that was a lot of bullets right there. A lot of bullets coming my way. I can't flush these guys, which is sad. Although I can skip the rooms, I'm gonna do that. Because these guys are big, annoying, and deal lots of damage. 
love the fact they can bomb you out of rooms. Like, it just saves you a little bit of time and HP. For, for a single bomb, it's, like, really worth it. Told you the second secret room's almost always near the boss. Almost always. Gotcha. Hey. Mr. Mama. Yeah, like I said, these first few challenges are really just amuse bushes just, just little teasers of what's to come. When you get to the DLC ones, you're going to want to cry, and I'm going to want to cry, and everyone's going to want to cry, because some of them are really, really hard. Some of them are also really, really easy and really, really fun, but some of them are really, really hard. Ultra, cha ultra hard challenge, I'm looking at you. That one's awful. That one is, I'm pretty sure it's like no HP drops in the entire run, and like, that's like, I'm pretty sure you don't get any HP upgrades either, if I remember rightly. I can't, I, I'm not 100% sure on that, but, like, Placenta is, like, the best item in the game because it gives you HP regen, so if you get on low health, you just sit in a room with no enemies and go have lunch and wait until your health regens and then come back. Uh, that was kind of the tactic for how I beat it the first time. Wait until you get Placenta and then let, let yourself heal. Come on, you're, you're basically dead. There we go. I didn't even mean to pick that up. I was going to check what the um, boss rush was. But there we go. We got Yerorun and Haglas, or Hagendaz, as I call it. Um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a pretty speedy run. 30 minutes, nice and tight. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.